Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to my sailboat refit channel. So in the last video you saw me paint, uh, wet sand and buff the top sides here and then uh, I've gone ahead and put the blue stripe in and I've already done the, the red stripe. Now I just put a coat of paint on here and I need two or three more coats on this one. But uh, if you're curious how I did that, I just have this little homemade contraption here where I hot glue a pencil on this, this end and I'll take this end and just run it along the, the bottom portion of the stripe, moving this in and out depending on the, uh, the angle of the hull. So um, if you want to know more details about that, just go back in some of my earlier videos. You'll see where I painted the other side in the bootstripe video. That, that gives you a little more detail on how this works. I'm waiting on the bootstrap to dry, I'm going to get started in this area preparing it for paint and non-skid. I also got to sand these scuppers down and uh, get those ready to paint. I'll have to fare over that and uh, then tape off this entire area so that I can uh, apply some non-skid. You can see this is fairly smooth. I've got to do a little bit more sanding uh, to get this lower. I need this just a little bit lower so that I can have room to put some fairing on it. And uh, it needs to dip down just a tiny bit, not much. And I've got a little knot right here, a uh, lump. I'm pretty low right through here. I just need to get this where it'll, where I can put enough fairing on it and you see I've got quite a bit of, of a lump right here and uh, a little lump right here uh, where it's you know it's really un, un, uh, unlevel but it doesn't look too bad just need to to take a little bit more of this off and then I'll put a layer of fairing over this I've got a lot of fairing it has to go up here uh, you can see right here this is this is all fairing where I uh, dug out the uh, spider cracks and filled that in with fairing and uh, thickened epoxy and fairing over that. But to get this really uh, smooth and looking correct, like it was done in a factory, I need to uh, just do a little more work here. I got it sanded uh, pretty good with 120 grit, but uh, I'm going to get some fairing on it, clean it up and get some fairing on it, and then uh, let that set, and then we'll definitely know what we got. So I'm going to use a little mineral spirits and just a rag, kind of get the dust off. I've already halfway cleaned up up here, I just haven't got any of the dust out. And I mixed some uh, West Systems Epoxy with 407 Thickener. It, it's, um, it's not like peanut butter. I, I like it a little bit runny. Um, and then I've got a couple of trials here that it's not my first choice. I really like to use the yellow uh, trials, but can't seem to find one. So I'm going to use a couple of these. Uh, 
Gonna be a lot of hand sanding because of this crease right here. Can't really get to that with a sander, and that actually that's the reason I've I've got these gouges in right here. It's because uh, I've tried to use a grinder to get in there tight. I'll shape it all up, and it'll look really nice when I'm done. Like I said, I'll have to do several of these layers of fairing. To get it like I want it. It's better to go too thick then too thin, well, it doesn't really matter. And too thick, you gotta sand it down. And too thin, you gotta sand it down and put more on top of it. So, uh, it's, it's actually, to me, I like doing it a little too thick. Because if you don't do it too thick, then you, you're not sure if you've got it, if you got a little dip in there and you've sanded the rest of the area flat, but that little dip doesn't have a, a good sanded surface to put more fairing on top of. So I'd rather go thick and come back and sand it all back down. Kind of thin it, fair it out just a little bit. This way uh, I can try to get it somewhat smooth, make sanding it easier. It doesn't matter, one thing's for sure, I'll have to do this several times. sand it off. Okay. It's been a few days and uh, I've got the stripe all done. Just got to clean the boat up, clean the bottom up and get the trailer back under it. But uh, I've been working on the uh, cockpit here. Uh, I spent all the time working on the cockpit drains here. Got those uh, sanded and re-fared uh, multiple times. So got that ready to go. And I've been working on putting the non-skid in. So what I did is I have the Alex Seal high build primer and I'll show you that in just a minute. But um, I used the Alex Seal high build primer and I taped it off, obviously, taped off the area, and I rolled the high build primer on here, and then I used a textured roller. I don't know if you can see, uh, it's a real nice texture, it's absolutely perfect. Um, I don't know if you can tell the, the, see the texture or not, but anyway, I used a textured roller and uh, rolled through that real thick primer which gave me a really good texture. And here in the cockpit, where I don't want it very aggressive at all, um, I'll paint over this whenever I do finish sanding, I'll paint over this and, you know, I'll do the floor and everything. And of course, the, the on the deck, I'll do a little more aggressive out there I've got I've already got all of this painted it was the first thing I did when I got here got the boat in here was I sanded all the old non-skid off and I fixed all the spider cracks and 
all of that and then um, I've got two coats of paint on this I'm gonna sand the entire deck and then I'll lay my non-skid down and then try to I'll paint one layer or one coat over the entire boat after I've got the non-skid in so anyway I'm gonna get started in putting the non-skid here on the cockpit sole and then I'll be able to paint this entire cockpit so this is my high build primer super build white Alex Hill Yachts 302 and this is a catalyst or converter and you mix these two together uh, one to one so I've prepped this area that I'm going to uh, put the non skid on and then I taped it off and used a little exacto knife to make the corners I just cut the tape in the uh, desired shape of the the corners I, I needed or wanted and what I'll do is I'll I've got my mix in here my high build uh, super build primer and I'll pour this out and then roll it smooth with this or equal and then and then I'll let it sit for a minute and then go over it with this textured roller which I just got this at uh, at Home Depot or any sort of uh, um, home product supply store should have something similar to this but you don't even need this uh, I just use this to kind of it just makes the texture just a little bit better but you can let it sit for a minute and then go back over it with a roller a regular roller and that will do the same thing but this this gives it an, an even equal texture so that I know that it'll be the same throughout the whole boat You want to lay it pretty thick because uh, like you know you're using this as texture so you really want it thick don't have to be too thick but uh, thick enough I may need to make some more it's a pretty big area Now you can do this with uh, gel coat or any kind of thick, uh, you know, paint product. But um, you know, I'm, I'm using the Alex Hill Super Build Primer because it will mix well with the uh, with the paint I'm going to use. Start texturing because I won't be able to reach it when I get to the other end but just roll this on it kind of lifts it up a little bit to gives it gives it kind of a nipple or just a peak wherever this uh, touches the touches the paint
So you might can see the texture better now. I don't know. I hope you can. But uh, it's really kind of a uniform texture. You can see it here on this. This is, I did this yesterday, this portion. But uh, really looks, looks nice. Well uniformed um, look. And so, and now I can just paint right over the top of this. All right, so it's the next day and I've got all the nod skid down here in the uh, cockpit area. Now I still have to do the uh, cockpit lockers. There's two of those, got to do the tops on that. But uh, uh, that's all the time I've got for this video. Um, I know it's been a little bit, uh, quite a while since my last video. I've had a lot of work I've had to do at my day job. And um, you know, with the Thanksgiving holiday and everything. So anyway, um, I've got to uh, do a little bit more sanding and priming here in the cockpit. And then I'm going to try to paint that because it's going to turn really cold next weekend. And I'd like to get that knocked out, but I'll put that in the next video and hopefully I can uh, get that out pretty quick. But um, anyway, this texture, man, it really comes out nice. And uh, I normally uh, just put a real thin coat over the top of this, but I'm going to have to put several layers over this. And I'm curious how much texture will actually come through. Uh, I mean, it's a very mild texture, and that's what I wanted here in the cockpit. And um, so uh, it'll be a test to see what, what it looks like after several layers of paint. And then I'll make my decision on what I'm going to do on the rest of the deck. Now, I can use the same process uh, since I've already got several layers of paint on the deck. I'll just tape it off, sand it, roll the... Uh, Roll the heavy high build primer out and then um, let it dry a little bit and go over it again with the texture roller and that puts a much more aggressive um, texture to it. And then just go over it with one coat of paint. So um, anyway, this will be the test. I'll know what, how many layers of paint I can put over it, over it and um, how, how much more aggressive I need to make this for the deck. And um, anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.